job madhusudan good job so nice. madhusudan have you been that good job have you been practicing practicing some of the things we have spoken about before in the session and some of the videos how is that yes. going for you yes so actually my uh, 100 pages book is about to complete okay this is the third session we are having but um, 100 pages yeah so in the journal I, you mean yeah in the big notebook you are seeing this wow that's okay. amazing every day actually uh, whenever i get the time uh, i start around normally 4 am in the morning okay continuous 3 to 4 hours i'll sit and do, do it so daily getting the time is difficult okay but whenever i get i will try to uh, take the uh, try to add my notes and also go through your videos uh, in the internet and um, also following kaushik's uh, uh, yeah. regular videos monday wednesday and saturday yes every monday every wednesday every saturday are you watching all of the videos and following yes yes good are you seeing the starting of the improvement and your confidence and communication yes so recently i have actually given uh, on uh, multiple presentations one is i have presented to my cxos okay so mm -hmm. uh, it was like uh, uh, within 3 minutes my uh, initial part i have done so the feedback is like uh, perfectly uh, scripted well drafted story okay wow there were no questions from there okay and then the second one uh, more than 1500 plus audience where i have actually guided my uh, team member to present okay so that was a difficult situation but whatever the learnings what i made from here so i also helped uh, my team member to uh, come out for a special uh, hps kind of thing so he spoke in front of 100, 1500 people yes how did his presentation go it went very good so everybody appreciated and then he started telling that it's madhu marsu then help me like that wow that's amazing so now now you are passing on the knowledge to to the to other people because you're learning so seriously that is what guys everybody here live right now in this in this program this is this is the mindset and the mentality you know one thing is passively learning and actively involving 100 pages he has filled in the journal that's what it's about <laughs>
that's the way we need to uh, build our leadership skill nice 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 you have still 40 seconds left but i think i think you're done for now good vipin before we get started so how, how did that go yeah the flow was a little bit difficult because i didn't play too much the uh, time was not that sufficient uh, so i am not getting that correct points in them okay quickly quickly remind us what is that you do and what's your profession yeah, i'm a software engineer i'm uh, doing as associate manager for how many years now and now i am completing 16 year 16 years okay very good so we'll go to roshan and we'll hear him speak on the same topic and then we'll tell you how you can improve would that be okay with you yeah okay All right, unmute Roshan, all the best. Okay. Hello, everyone. So I think leadership is one of the very, very important skill that, uh, that defines, uh, you know, success of every organization. And uh, I think to be a great leader, I think you should be a great communicator. And that is where, uh, you know, I think this course will definitely help us moving forward. Uh, sorry, uh, just, just I just missed the we missed the topic. <laughs> what, How what to upgrade yourself as a leader? I think I think I think this is this is one of the you know starting point where uh, you know uh, joining joining a communication uh, you know course I think will definitely help in uh, upgrading up, upgrading the the skills uh, I think more more so you know to become become a uh, become a leader if you have to communicate effectively with 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 everyone uh, you know you have to firstly you have to have your idea or you have to have your mindset uh, you know communicated to the team to get get the results that that uh, organization requires and also it is to get get all the all the team teams you know aligned towards one one objective one goal uh, that is where you know you have to you have to be focused i think if we can take a few few of the examples of great great leaders i think uh, all of them are great communicators so that that uh, that is one of the fundamental fundamental thing to be a great uh, great great leader i think uh, that that's all uh, i can share at good. the moment good nice roshan just remind us what, what is that you do and where are you from I'm uh, I'm from UAE and I work for in the aviation industry. Aviation industry. Based, what, what do you do there? Yeah. What, what's your What's your role? Um, I work for in flight uh, in flight logistics, basically in the logistics uh, department. I'm officer for the logistics department. Officer for a logistics department. You You said UAE, correct? Yes, Abu Dhabi. Perfect. Okay. And how many years of work experience do you have? I have uh, more than ten to twelve years of experience. Okay, good. Madhu, so then I'm, I'm, I just randomly brought you in. So for everybody, without uh, like the first speaker, uh, Bipin, 0 to 10, how much would you rank? And the second speaker, Roshan, how much would you rank? Okay, 0 to 10. 0 means very bad, 10 means perfect. Let, let's hear from you in the chat box right now for those of you alive. And then we'll go to Madhu, so then quickly in two, two, two through three minutes. And then, and any number is fine. You can just, you can just tell your opinion. You're sharing your opinion, not your judgment. So um okay three and two yeah yeah okay any number is fine like i said like don't don't think uh, at all about the anything about the judgment okay six and five two and two okay what else five and four five and three habib says garima okay four and five good so madhusudan <clears throat> you are next just three minutes and then i'll tell you how to do it better would that add value to vipin and roshan if i tell you how you could structure your presentation better? How many of you believe that that would that would add value to you? Would that add value to you, Roshan, Pippin? This is the time Definitely. when you raise your hand when somebody raises hands in case you don't know. Yeah. 
yeah a little bit yeah thank you so good madhusudan your time starts now go okay yeah so leadership is all about uh, two things one is the uh, decision making that is uh, making uh, bold decisions faster and second thing is the uh, communication okay conveying the message to the larger audience it can be team or people uh, and to influence them to make the better decisions coming to the decision making it can come uh, to the people for naturally or it can also be trained by having a good mentor current the uh, uh, my case okay so i see that um, decision making sometimes uh, i can take but sometimes it will be uh, delayed okay so i have uh, decided to actually take the proper mentor and in uh, in my office also i have my manager as a coach for me and also here i took bishal sarkar as a coach okay so which i am uh, learning things uh, regularly and um, yeah so uh, to upgrade to the next level is very important for everyone because uh, when you grow in your uh, when when i when we grow in our uh, uh, career okay so we'll be taking up to the next positions so where many people will be relying upon uh, us okay in terms of uh, taking decisions uh, faster and also in terms of delegating the decisions to the team members or children or in, in terms of um, uh, transferring the risk okay uh, taking decisions and also involving people to take the right decisions when dependencies are there mm. okay God. so this is about leadership and uh, i would like to know how what leadership mean for you from the audience nice he is ending I with a question that. good job yes. madhusudan good job so nice. madhusudan have you been that good job have you been practicing practicing some of the things we have spoken about before in the session and some of the videos how is that yes. going for you yes so actually my uh, 100 pages book is about to complete okay this is the third session we are having but um, 100 pages yeah so in the journal uh, you mean yeah in the big notebook you are seeing this wow that's okay. amazing every day actually uh, whenever i get the time uh, i start around normally 4 am in the morning okay continuous 3 to 4 hours i'll sit and do, do it so daily getting the time is difficult okay but whenever i get i will try to uh, take the uh, try to add my notes and also go through your videos uh, in the internet and um, also following kaushik's uh, uh, yeah regular videos monday wednesday and saturday yes every monday every wednesday every saturday are you watching all of the videos and following yes yes good are you seeing the starting of the improvement and your confidence and communication yes so recently i have actually given uh, on uh, multiple presentations one is i have presented to my cxos okay so mm -hmm. uh, it was like uh, uh, within 3 minutes my uh, initial part i have done so the feedback is like uh, perfectly uh, scripted well drafted story okay wow there were no questions from there okay and then the second one uh, more than 1500 plus audience where i have actually guided my uh, team member to present okay so that was a difficult situation but whatever the learnings what i made from here so i also helped uh, my team member to uh, come out official uh, apps kind of thing so he spoke in front of 100, 1500 people yes how did his presentation go it went very good so everybody appreciated and then he started telling that it's madhu marsu then help me like that wow that's amazing so now now you are passing on the knowledge to to the to other people because you're learning so seriously that is what guys everybody here live right now in this in this program this is this is the mindset and the mentality you know one thing is passively learning and actively involving 100 pages he has filled in the journal that's what it's about i appreciate that now to vipin roshan and madhusudan i'm going to now tell you how you could all of you overall how could structure the presentation better in case you have any question after that i'll be happy to tell you the good thing that you did vipin is you started well to tell um what you believe about um what do you believe about that okay um yes absolutely absolutely atif i'll i'll come to the comment very soon um you started off with here is the quality that leaders require they need to upgrade um their knowledge and then you gave an example of um apj abdul kalam if i'm not if i'm not wrong yeah um then roshan came and you started speaking roshan forgot the topic and then he picked up and he, he was trying to communicate with with the uh, communication 
However, the problem was the flow was missing because you did not know the structure. And it's fine. You know, it's the first time Roshan joined. Um, Madhusudan, what you did well is you had a structure in mind before speaking. That was the differentiator. Guys, those of you are online, right? those of you are um, in the attendee list, did you see that Madhusudan had a structure? Just type S in the chat box if you can see that. That he was not just thinking. Yeah, exactly. He was not just thinking, he was doing it. So here is what I want you to want you to understand. If you want to become a powerful speaker, you need to have a structure. I'm going to give you a structure right now. How you could do is I'm going to give you an example. Instead of teaching you live, I want you to watch this portion and you think what I'm doing. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll give myself a three minute segment exactly for that. The topic is upgrade. How to upgrade yourself as a leader. But this doesn't say that. Say how to upgrade yourself as a leader, Vishal. Just say that. How to upgrade yourself as a leader, Vishal. Leadership is very confusing because if you look around, there are thousands of best-selling books on leadership and leaders versus management, this versus that. But the biggest problem that we have is most people have no idea how to be a great leader. They know things like, yeah, you have to, uh, you have to lead by example, you have to do that. But the common obstacle that we many of us face is we don't have a simple three-step process. I believe that if you want to uplevel your family, if you want to uplevel your community, if you want to uplevel your team, and if you want to uplevel your organization, you have to uplevel and upgrade your leadership. And this is what I call the CSC framework. These are the three things that if you really implement, your leadership is going to be world class. The C stands for confidence. You have to upgrade your confidence level on a daily basis as a leader. I'm not talking about the confidence that you feel just in front of your team, but the confidence and the courage that you show in front of other people, the confidence and courage you show in terms of your innovation, the confidence and courage you show in terms of everybody. The second is your skill set. If you want to upgrade yourself, you have to upgrade your skill set. And I'm not talking about just your technical skills or management skills. In today's world, you have to master what I call the high income skills, your persuasion, your high level negotiation. You, uh, for example, one of our mastermind members, Pala, she closed a $10 million deal this year alone. And how he does it, you have to learn the skills, your, your proper connection skills, your networking skills. Without that, just attending courses will not help. So the first one is upgrade your confidence. The second one is upgrade your skill set. And the third thing that many people miss is upgrade your circle your inner circle, the circle of people, the circle of influence that you have. If you hang around with five average speakers, you will become the sixth average speaker. If you hang around with five average leaders who whine about COVID, who whine about government, who whine about the all the things, you will be the sixth whining person. However, if you upgrade your circle, circle where people are thinking about great ideas and actions and implementations and achieving you know 10 year goals in next 12 months, you become that. So these are the three things that you need to upgrade. Upgrade your skills, Upgrade your confidence and upgrade your circle. One more time, the CSC, upgrade your confidence, upgrade your skill and upgrade your circle. Once you upgrade these three things, things will really transform for you and you can take charge of your life. You will be financially wealthy. You will be actually connected as an individual and your leadership will grow. An example of that is definitely you can look at any great leader, whether it's APJ Abdul Kalam, starting from APJ Abdul Kalam to back in the days to Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose or Swami Vivekananda or Raja Ram Mohan Rai or anybody or anybody who's present right now, doesn't matter who that person is. They also worked on their confidence, their skill set and their circle. Now the question is to you, what will you do in the next 24 hours? What will you do in the next seven days? And what will you do in the next 30 days to change your life? Upgrade your leadership and upgrade your life. Three minutes. Okay. Do you remember? Guys, in the chat box, do you remember what are the three points? Tell me in the chat box, what are the three points I spoke about? What are the three upgrades that need to happen? Think about it. I started with something. There you go. What CSC? Venkat, see, you get it. And what is the CSC? What did the CSC stand for? Confidence, skill, circle. Got it. See, in three minutes, I plant it in you. Madhusudan, you got it. Do you Now, if I break it down, you can break it down. But here is what I did. I spoke about a promise that in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to show you how to be a great leader. I spoke about an obstacle that many people are confused about leadership, blah, blah, blah. Then I gave the three tips. Then I talked about an example. And then the, this is called a poser framework. Okay. P-O-S-E-R. Promise, obstacle, solution, example, reach out or recommend next step. Promise. In the next three minutes, 
we'll talk about leadership. That's the promise. Obstacle, a common obstacle many people have is many people don't, most people are confused about leadership. See, I'm talking about a common obstacle about leadership. We've been getting it so far, Mother Sudan getting it so far. I know you're taking notes, you're getting it so far. You talk about a promise, then you talk about an obstacle. Then the solution, solution means the three tips. The problem is most people start with the solution. Okay, to be a great leader, you don't, don't give an answer. First set the context by talking about the promise, talking about the obstacle, then give the three tips, then give an example. What are some of the examples that I gave? What are some of the names that I gave? Madhusudan, can you, can you say, what are some of the examples of leaders that I gave? Yeah, so you talked about uh, uh, Mr. Uh, APJ Abdul Kalam, Subhash Chandra Bose, and Narendra Modi, etc. No, I did not say Narendra Modi, but but you get the it. point. <laughs> That's debatable. No. <laughs> yes, Vivekananda Subhash Chandra Bose. Yes, right. So I gave some examples. And then in the end, I ended with, now you think, what can you do in the next 24 hours, in the next seven days? So I'm, I'm recommending a next step for them. That it's not just a knowledge. You do something that you want to do. See, when he said Narendra Modi, I could take it. No, I did not say. I had a fun. Guys, do you remember we spoke about the 10? 10 um 10 things about what 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 was the what was the mother or vipin what was the seventh point in the first impression formula today just read uh, just unmute and share seventh point unmute slow down and uh, slow down with seven seven six seven Light humor, imperfect. Light humor. Imperfection. What, we, what did we do right now when Mother Sutan said Modi? I said, okay, that's debatable. And, right? A little fun moment, light humor. That's what I'm talking. And guys, here is the thing, Venkat, exactly, you got it. You can use light humor. I did not know he was gonna he, gonna, he was gonna say that. So I have no idea, but you can look for that humor. Are you getting what I'm talking about? This is light humor. This is how you can practice this presentation, but um, this is what I have to say, okay? Is that valuable for you? Vipin, is that valuable for you? Madhusudan Roshan, is that valuable for you? To, to see how to, how to do it properly. And next time when we do it, I want you to practice even more and go to the next level. Vipin, Madhusudan, will I see you practice and come back in the next session and thrive even more? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Very good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Very good. I'll now uh, go to the final five minutes and we'll end the session right now. So thank you guys for, for playing so far. I'm going to take you to the attendee list.